Hey guys, Jesse Wright with Z-Man. Over the last week or so, since Z-Man debuted the Rattlesnaker um, rattle insert tool, uh, which is gonna be available in October, I wanna show you how buoyant the plastic is, even with the rattle in it. I'm seeing a lot of people talking about, is the elastic gonna still be able to float having a rattle in the back of the tail or inside the bait? So in this video, I'm gonna try it with the hula sticks, uh, minnows, and a TRD, a finesse TRD, and we're gonna see how they react in the water with a rattle in it. Stay tuned. All right, so let's start by putting some rattles in these baits. So with this hula stick, we're gonna go right here from the rear end. Now, I'll let you guys know right now, I ain't gonna put these in perfectly. They're just gonna be good enough that I put them in the water. We're going to be able to see if it's going to stand up. So they ain't going to be perfect. Like that ain't perfect. Okay. But we're going to get the gist of things. Rattle in the hula stick. Looks like crap. We're going to put one in the belly of the minnows. That's where I always put it. Here. Just dropped a rattle on the ground. That one looks pretty good and then we're gonna put one in this TRD it's gonna go right to the butt like this let's try it again so that's gonna be like right out there pop that guy out rattle goes in like so push it in pinch like I said, these ain't going to be perfect. All right, let's tie them up and drop them in the pool and see what they look like. All right, guys, to finish off this video, I want to go over one thing real quick. Those TRDs, the hula sticks, the freshwater Z-mans in general, they have salt in the plastic. So what that does is it does weigh that bait down. So even without an, uh, um, a rattlesnake rattle in there, they're going to lay flat on the bottom unless you stretch them out a little bit or you fish them for a little bit and that salt dissolves. So what I did with that rattlesnake is I took my TRD and I took my hula stick and I stretched it out, got some of that salt out, Put the rattle in there and guess what that tail went right back up on the jig head so yes you can put a rattlesnake or rattle in a an elastic bait because it is naturally buoyant and it will rise up it will keep its buoyancy um the minnows the only thing that's weighted in there is going to be that that glitter so you can see with that even though i put the rattle in the belly that tail is always going to stay up and you don't have to really worry about that having any effect of the action on that bait so if you're a little skeptical about the rattlesnaker, don't be. It works, and uh, hopefully it catches you guys some fish. Thanks for watching. Take care.